When you're considering the purchase of an inventory software program, your goal may be to improve inventory accuracy. Another goal may also be to help you decide what to purchase and how much to purchase. I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, inventory software expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you a feature in SIN 7 called Smart Buyer. And with this feature, you can decide what to purchase and how much to purchase to keep your inventory levels for your most popular parts at a healthy level. The Smart Buyer feature is found over here under the purchasing area, this little icon that looks like a ship. Click on that. That'll take you to the Smart Buyer screen. Now let's look at how this screen is designed. Over here on the left we have some dates, the last stock count and the last transaction. And we can also search by suppliers, search fields, and search filters in this section. And over here we also have some filters and some search sections. Currently, the default is to group by supplier. We can change that to group by order reference number, but supplier is a good default, so I'm going to leave that there. Then also, there's a filter to look at preferred suppliers only. So what this means is previous to using this screen, you need to assign a preferred supplier or preferred vendor to your products. Then on this next field, it allows you to filter based on different criteria on how you want. This top section is more of a reactionary based on just the sales orders. But below, we have a more proactive approach to purchasing. And this helps with your most popular parts, your A-class parts, parts that you sell the most. Now, in order for this to work, you need to do some preliminary work, setup work as well. Down below, minimum stock quantity. What it's not showing is reorder quantity. Well, let's take a look at that for a minute. Minimum stock quantity is a preset value on your product screen or a preset value. Let's go there just for a second. Products and actions under products import and update. So I'm on the import section like that. And if we click on this side that says SIN 7 field, we'll see a whole list of data that can be imported into SIN 7. Here it is that we're looking at minimum stock level and reorder quantity. So the minimum stock level is the threshold. That's what you set that uh, you want your cushion to be at, meaning if inventory gets below that level, then SIN 7 will tell you you need to buy more. Okay, The reorder quantity, now I didn't mean to click on that. Uh, I'm just using this field as a reference that this doesn't matter over here. So the reorder quantity is the quantity you've decided will be the, the minimum quantity you purchase from the vendor. So when you do make a purchase, from your supplier, that's going to be the quantity that you've decided to always purchase. So parts you buy from overseas, for instance, you're going to purchase in higher quantities. Generally the rule is if the vendor is across the street, you're going to purchase a lower amount of quantity than if he lives across the country or across the world. So okay. And these fields right here can also be found on the product screen. On the product screen right here, we have our minimum stock level and our recorder, reorder quantity right there. And at the top, we have our default supplier, our default supplier. So that all needs to be set up before the smart buyer will work. So let's go back to the smart buyer. And right here, I'm going to select stock available, less than minimum stock. And notice this part right here, this AN spring that we're purchasing from Anderson's Hardware Tool Supply. It has a minimum stock quantity of 100, and the SOH stands for stock on hand, zero. So SIN 7 is telling us that we should purchase 100 of these. 
Now if we go to the AN Spring product, we'll see the supplier is Anderson Hardware. The minimum stock level is 100, but we didn't have a reorder quantity set. So I'm going to set that to 1000. Save that and go back to Smart Buyer. Refresh. So in the stock available order to reorder level tells us to buy a thousand, but these other parts that are below minimum are not telling us to buy anything at all. So if we select the minimum stock level, that will tell us to buy up to the minimum. So we want to make sure that all the parts are set up properly in the system so it'll work properly. We need a minimum reorder quantity and we need the minimum stock level. So let's just pretend like we have it set up and we're okay with the way it's set up. Now notice there's a link right here that to click on it'll create a purchase order for us. If we scroll down we'll see that each group of parts that is assigned to a supplier also has the option to create purchase orders for them. So it's just an easy click, letting the inventory software program do all the heavy lifting and the complex calculating to help you purchase. Now I notice most people that purchase inventory software have a complex spreadsheet that they're used to using. You'll need to carefully force yourself to make the adjustment from your previous methods of purchasing to really get the full benefit of your investment in the software. So let's go ahead and click New Purchase and voila! It automatically creates a purchase order bringing, us, bringing our stock levels to the minimum level. Now remember if we set the reorder quantities it will order those order quantities instead. And the software is smart enough to know that you already have an outstanding purchase order. So if you've run this before and then you forgot, don't worry, it's not going to tell you to double purchase. That's already in the programming. That's not going to happen. Thanks for joining us today, Brando Consulting, having a fun time with the Smart Buyer feature in Sin 7. We'll see you next time.